Have you ever found yourself lying in bed at night, not able to sleep, your mind's racing, you can't get it out of your head? What's the difference between the regular Levi's 501s and the 93 version? Well, you're not alone. I've had countless sleepless nights over it, but now I know the difference. I sleep like a baby. So hopefully after this video, you'll be able to get some sleep too. Maybe you'll even fall asleep during this video if you find it boring, but that's fine. Sleep is very important, so if I can help you get some, then that's great. In this video, I'm going to be going through the fit of each jean. I'll also be measuring them out where I get on my hands and knees with a tape measure, and I'll also talk about the differences in each pair. And just for reference, I'm six foot and I wear a size 32 waist and 32 length in Levi's. If you like this video or it helps you out, please do leave it a like. And now that's all out the way, let's get into the jeans. So the Levi's 501, what a jean. They've done very well for themselves. They're probably the most well-known jeans in the world. They've got a timeless design and most people look good in them, providing they fit in them. And that's where I have problems with the regular 501s. When I was younger, before I started hitting the gym, I could fit into 501s no problem. But these days, my thighs are having none of it. The waist always fits me fine and the calf area, no problem. But when it comes to the thighs, it feels like I've got bandages wrapped tightly around around them and it's not a feeling I enjoy. Anyway, I'd almost given up on the 501 until I stumbled across the 93 version online. And the description of the 93 said that it had a higher rise, which isn't the case, but we'll get into that in a minute, and more room in the thighs. The extra thigh room sounded great, so I decided to pick myself up a pair. So let's have a look on body at the differences between the 501s, the regular 501s, and the 93 version. So first up, we've got the regular 501s. Now they don't actually look as tight in the B-roll as they feel, but trust me, they feel tight. Also, the material isn't stretchy, so they're not the most comfortable pair of jeans to wear. My thighs feel like there's two boa constrictors wrapped around them, squeezing the life out of them. Okay, that's a bit of an exaggeration. It's not that tight, but it's tight enough to make them uncomfortable and yeah, hard to move around in. In my opinion, they don't look terrible in the B-roll. They actually look fine, but they don't feel fine. On the plus side, the waist fits me perfectly and the length is great, but they're not the jean for me. And this is where the 93 version comes in. And it sounds like I'm being really negative towards the regular 501s and I'm not trying to be. There's a reason why so many people wear them. They fit most people, they look great on most people, and they might be the perfect jeans for you. But sadly, they're not the right jean for me. So let's have a look at the 93s. Here they are and they're so much more comfortable. There's definitely more room in the thigh area and you can even see some excess material there. You might not be able to see a huge difference in the b-roll, but there's a huge difference wearing them. Also, the material is slightly stretchy, so they're a lot more comfortable to wear than the regular 501s. The only slight downside I will say with this pair is the waist is slightly too big, but I can still wear them without a belt, so it's not a problem. But you'd think as they're still a size 32, they'd fit exactly the same in the waist as the regular 501s, but yeah, that's not the case. Anyway, I love this pair of jeans on me. They look exactly how I want them to look, and they feel great. So yeah, a great pair of jeans. And because I love these jeans so much, I decided to pick them up in another colorway. I picked them up in a dark gray and this is where things started to get confusing. So here we've got another pair of Levi's 501s, the 93 version, and you'd expect them to fit exactly the same, but that's not the case. The waist actually fits like the regular 501s and the thigh area is a little bit tighter than the blue pair. Don't get me wrong, they're still a lot more comfortable and a lot more spacious than the regular 501s, but they're noticeable tighter than the blue pair. As this pair are the same model as the blue pair, you'd expect them to fit exactly the same. But yeah, let's take some measurements and see what's going on. So I laid all three pairs of jeans out on the floor and I gave them a good measuring. I measured each pair three times to make sure I had the correct measurements. So no going into the comments and saying I haven't measured them properly, please. I even had my little helper check over the measurements while I was doing them. So they're definitely accurate. So here on screen, we have the measurements of all three pairs and let's have a look at what's going on. So as we we can see the waist on the regular 501 is the same as the waist on the grey 93s, but the blue is bigger. The rise is all over the place. The rise is actually supposed to be bigger on the 93s, but they're both smaller than the regular 501s. The inseams are all slightly different, but it's not a problem. They all fit me great still. They all break nicely on my shoe. So yeah, that's not a problem. The thigh area on the 93s is bigger, so that's why we've got more room. And the leg opening on the 93s is actually narrower. Narrower. Can't say that word right. 
very well. Even though I measured the thigh area the same on the blue pair and the grey pair of the 93s, they do feel a bit different. That might be because of the smaller waist on the grey pair, but I have to say that I have worn the blue pair a few times, whereas the grey pair and the black pair of 501s are brand new. Now Levi's are known for being inconsistent with their sizing, which can be annoying, but if you look at it a different way, it's actually quite nice because it makes each pair more unique. So that's the measurements, but are there any differences in the details? Well, let's have a look. So they've all got button up flies and some people like that, some people don't. I don't really care, but it can be a little bit more fiddly and a bit more time consuming doing them up, I suppose. But I've got to say, if the extra time spent doing them up is a deal breaker for you, not the fiddliness, I get that, but if the extra time spent is a deal breaker, then you might want to have a look at your life. I know we can't concentrate on anything for more than a few seconds these days, so if you've made it this far into the video, you've done really well. But yeah, if you don't buy a pair of jeans because they take a few extra sessions, sessions, sections, sessions, sections, seconds to do up, then you need to chill out. So stop watching TikTok and spend more time watching long form content on YouTube instead. It's the best. Anyway, I've gone off in a bit of a tangent. Let's get back to the details. So the back patches on the 93 versions have got a more worn in and vintage look to them, whereas the patch on the 501s, the regular 501s, looks brand new. And the only other visual difference I could see is this label stitched into the regular 501s, whereas the 93 versions didn't have this. But if you know of any others, do let us know. So even though there's differences in the pairs of jeans that I've got here, if you've got bigger thighs, check out the 93 501s. I'll leave a link to my favorite pair in the description box along with the other two pairs but my recommendation is to try out a few pairs and see which ones fit you best. In next week's video I'll be trying out a load of different pairs of jeans from some of the biggest names out there and I'll be putting them up against the 501s so if you don't want to miss that one don't forget to hit subscribe. If you want of course if you don't want to subscribe then just come back next week and watch that one and then you can be on your way. But if you enjoyed this one or it helped you out please do leave the video a like and I will see you all next week. Thank you so much for watching everyone. See you later.